Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see so many people already in the chat. How are you guys doing? Honestly, that's what I want to know. How are you doing? Mm. Thank you guys so much for already being here. I see you guys are already saying where you're from. We got agents from all over the world watching this, and it's so cool. Oh, we got uh, close to 300 people already on the live stream. Oh, just broke three. It's going to keep creeping up. So let us know where you're from in the comments. And uh, you guys use my platform to collaborate with each other. There's so many places to collaborate with Zero to Diamond. You've got the Facebook group. You've got YouTube and my Instagram and all that stuff. You also have um, the Discord, the Zero to Diamond Discord. There's 7,000 agents on Discord. In my back. Let's see if I'm even live. <laughs> Could be having internet problems. Let me check right here. Let me know if you guys can see me, if you guys can hear me. All right, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I've been having some internet problems. So if you're watching this on a replay, just go to YouTube and uh, I'll put chapters there so you can skip past all the intro stuff if you just want to get straight to it. All right, having some internet it difficulty, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna power through this, hoping that uh, the internet holds up, but that's okay. Um, just want to say, listen, I appreciate you guys and man, the internet's coming in lag. That's okay. Let me know if you guys can hear me good and all that. We're just going to rock and roll here. Um, so, uh, our, our personal, uh, listings are up over 30, uh, 30 listings right now. And, um, you know, basically, you know, you guys are here right now because you really care about your business. You really care about your clients. You want the best uh, for everyone. You have the best intentions. You're hardworking, dependable, consistent, professional, knowledgeable. And even if you're brand new in the business, um, you're still all of these things you're working towards. Even when you become uh, a, a local expert and you're at the top of the game, you're still improving. You're still trying to get better. Uh, it's still, you're still on the journey of self-development and getting better and better and, um, learning how to service your clients better and provide more value in the marketplace, especially also as things change technologically. Um, so many changes happening so fast. So, um, there's a lot always going on and you always have to stay on top of your game. And that's what makes this life and this business so, so very interesting. And that's why I love it so much. So, um, with that, uh, you're here because you are all of these things, right? I know that you're also here because you want to learn a more efficient way to build your business, um, to build your funnel out and take your leads, your prospects and your clients and future clients down a certain path in which they know that you really care about them. That's what it is at the end of the day. The, the, the larger the amount of people that who know who you are, what you do, what you're about, what you stand for, and that you're here to help, the larger your business will be. People need you. Uh, they're out there buying and selling real estate every single day by the truckloads. And it's your job to make sure that you're doing everything you could do to take care of as many people as possible. So the, the blessing of this is that our job is to go out and help people, but yet we get paid to do so. And so we can build our business around doing something that we love to do, which is helping people. That's the way that I look at it. I look at this as a service industry, not a sales industry, I'm trying to help people do what they want to do. So with that being said, let me show you the first thing I want to show you. 
Let's see. Where are you? Here you are. And there you go. Let's see if you guys can see that. Let me. There we go. All right. So the way I see it. Uh, let's see. The way, the way that I see it here. This is the path for every lead. Okay. Um, every single lead gen activity comes down to this same path. This is this is the way that I view it. Other coaches, other brokers view it differently. I'm sure they're going to tell me, "Don't listen to Ricky." You know, um, sell people, and that's okay. Um, you know, don't cut your commission. Don't ask people how they're doing. Um, you know, don't do what your client wants. You know, wants to do. Don't you know? Don't do those things. Okay. That's fine. Um, that's your opinion. That's how you want to operate. This is how I operate. And so that's all I can do with you guys is share with you how I operate. Now, I come from a place where I closed 100 deals a year every single year as a single agent for eight years in a row. And I was the very top agent in my state and my market uh, for a long, long time. So I've got proof of results behind what I preach. But not only that, thousands of agents are crushing it as we speak with Zero Diamond and the the philosophies there within. So I'm not saying that I'm the God of all this. I'm just saying that this is how I do it. If you find value in what I'm saying, I want you to go use it. So, And I understand exactly where all of you are. You're just trying to get better. That's why you're here right now. So this is what I perceive as the path of every lead. I go through... Data collection. Now, this can be through whatever means you want. You could cold call. You could get Facebook leads, Zillow leads, open house leads, referrals, uh, sphere of influence for sell by owners. It doesn't matter. That lead generating activity does one thing in the beginning. Collect the data. You're collecting data. So data collection, step two is communicating, calling in person, digitally, DMing, emailing, whatever it is, got to be communication next. Got to communicate, see if there's a connection, see what's going on. The third step is conversion. And this is where things kind of take a turn for me. My goal with conversion is converting them into someone who knows I care about them. And I can create a lifelong relationship with them. You see, it's not to close the deal. With the, the conversion for me is, what do you want to do and how can I help you do it? That's the conversion. You want to do something now? Great. Or are, you, are you already working with an agent? No, I'd love to help you. Let's meet. Let's do this. Let's do that. I'm going to send you some info. Whatever the next step is, depending on what it is they're trying to do and why. Real simple stuff there. And, and I was on a Zoom just about an hour ago um, preaching this kind of stuff. And it all sounds so simple when I say it. And my dad, he spoke at my last workshop and he said, you know, I used to not listen to Ricky so much. And now I listen to Ricky. And he said, you know, you guys need to listen to Ricky because the things that he says is so simple. And you may think, man, there's no way that success in this business is as simple as what Ricky is saying, but it is. And part of the problem is we're overcomplicating everything and looking for the silver bullets and stuff. But the fourth part of this is to remarket to them forever so they never forget who you are after you've communicated, you've created the relationship, maybe you've helped them buy or sell something, but you never want them to ever forget who you are. I do that through my weekly email. So let's go through it again. There's the data collection part. There's the communication part. Then there's the conversion. Then there's a remarket to forever. Again, every lead generating activity comes back to this exact path for me. Again, this is, this is me talking. And so when I think about this path of every single lead, I think, why in the world, if I can get someone's data for a penny, for the exact person that I want to do business with, if I can get their data for one penny and use that data to communicate, to convert, 
to remarket to forever, then why would I do anything else? Every single human being in your market is a lead, ladies and gentlemen. Your job is to do community outreach to see what you can do to help people. The more people that know that you're here to help, the larger your business is going to be and the more closings you're going to have. Just speaking from experience. That's all this is. So again, data collection, uh, communication, conversion, remarket. That's the system you need to have in place. So again, uh, you know, let's just take, okay, I'm going to do YouTube, right? That's going to be my funnel to get the data to then communicate, convert, remarket. Great. That's what you like. Go do that. I want you to go do that. I'm not going to do that. Why won't I do that? Well, I can cre I'll can. create videos on YouTube and everything else. That's fine. I mean, the leads that I get from it, awesome. And I want to build my brand there. I'm not saying don't do YouTube. Don't do social media. I want you to go all in on social media. I actually want you to take the data for a penny and remarket to them on social media, which is what I'm going to demonstrate in today's training. So at the end of this, I'm going to do a demonstration. I'm going to create an ad for you. I'm going to show you exactly how to target the exact property owners you want to do business with on Facebook and Instagram. Easy. I'm going to show you how to do that. But my point is this. If, I, if, if the whole object is to collect data, to then communicate, convert, remarket, and I can get the data, there's a place I can get the data for a penny or two with no effort, just a click of a mouse, why is that not just about the only thing that I'm going to do? Well, that was the only thing I did. And I attribute that to why I got to selling so much property in my career and why I continue to sell so much property. I didn't do it, you know, I didn't try to do it the 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 fast way. I mean, once you get the data, you got to talk to them. By the way, guys, Coke Zero sponsors this video. Just kidding. I don't have any sponsors, guys. All right. Also, this video is not going to be a, this training is not going to be on how to create data. But the good news is, is that I'm going to do a full webinar mid-month. It's going to be, I, I believe it's going to be set for March 16th. And that webinar will go through my entire process of creating uh, content. So you guys know I'm posting four to six times on Instagram. I'm, I'm now doing three lives on YouTube and chopping that up along with posting all my podcasts. I'm, now I'm posting like 15 times a week on YouTube. Long form video, not to, not to mention any shorts that I might post. Um, I'm growing by 200 followers a day on Instagram right this second. Um, views on YouTube are starting to increase dramatically since I've been posting more. So uh, I'm going to have a full webinar on my entire content creation process next month, probably March 16th. But if you're not getting my text messages, okay, if you're not getting my text messages or emails, um, go to zero to diamond.com and sign up, um, or text me. I'll put my text. I'll, I'll tell you what my text number is. So you guys can join that platform to make sure that you're getting my text messages. It's two, five, one. 312-8844. Text me and add yourself so that you're getting alerted whenever I'm doing these live trainings along with motivational quotes. And I read every single reply on the on those, those text threads. Um, and it's actually me writing the text. And if you get a reply, it's me writing the reply in real time. Okay. There's no automation over here. I answer all my DMs personally on Instagram. Uh, I respond to all my comments personally. Nobody's doing any of this stuff for me. I post everything on Instagram. I do have editors editing the reels, but I'm posting. I'm writing the copy for every post. A lot of people say, that's crazy. How are you doing all that? Why are you doing all that? But the thing is, is that there's the authenticity behind social media and people can tell if it's really you. And if people think it's not you, then it doesn't mean as much, honestly. Um, I think authenticity goes so far and that's why I spent, I spent two hours this morning answering DMs on Instagram to make sure I was caught up before this live. Um, and there was a lot, a lot 
of DMs, but I enjoy doing that. I could spend my time doing something else, but I feel like I want to have deep relationships with you guys. I'm building a dynasty here. I'm building a legacy. And I want to go down as not the greatest coach of all time, not the guy that made the most money, but the guy that helped the most agents. That's why I put out that video yesterday that you should quit real estate as a message to the agents out there that are struggling that it's okay to take a step back and get a job, but don't quit. I didn't quit. And look at where I am. Don't quit unless you just hate real estate or you're just not going to do it, whatever. There's going to be those people. But for the people that need the encouragement, let me give you that encouragement. I digress and let me get into to more of today's training and content. All right. 500 people. Let's get it, guys. Thank you so much. And I hope you get a lot of value out of this. So back to uh, back to our right here, just to reiterate for people that are just joining us, the path of every lead is data collection, no matter where you get the lead from, communication from there, conversion, remarket to forever, it's the same path. So what I wanna do today is I wanna show you where to get the data for a penny or two for the exact property owners you wanna do business with. If you don't have if you have zero money to invest in your business, I want to help you there. I want to offer some solutions on that front as well. Then I want to take you through actually how to find the property owners. I want to do this tutorial right here. And then I want to answer questions, of course, but I want to, I want to do a demo. I want to do a tutorial here and screen share actually creating an Instagram, Facebook ad targeting the exact property owners you want to do business with because here's the catch with this and this is this is why this is so amazing because when you run a, a social media ad the objective is in the beginning not to run a call to action ad it's to run you know um, just engagement ads for weeks and you take those engagement ads and then you create audiences out of those engagement ads of people who engaged with the ad or anybody that's engaged with your profile in general. Then you run call to actions to vote to that audience. And this is where people get bad leads on Facebook and Instagram and say, oh, this doesn't work because they run call to action ads day one and they get, you know, 18 year olds living in their mom in their mom's basement and people just messing with you and, you know, uh, fake accounts and, you know, stuff like that. A bunch of stuff, trash basically come through. Not, I'm not saying 18 year olds living in their mom's basement is trash. I'm saying trash leads, false information, bad emails, not wrong numbers, stuff like that come through bad data in other, in other words, and people are like, oh, this Facebook ad thing doesn't work. Yeah, it does. You just have to run engagement ads and then take the people that engage with it, you know, filter that audience down and then run call to action ads to that audience. You used to make a lookalike audience to that, do more engagement ads, but Facebook did away with that. So if the Facebook ad, you know, strategies um, has really deteriorated. I mean, it's really been, it's gotten a lot tougher, let's just say. Um, so that's the process of what you normally do. What I want to do is show you how to target the exact property owners where day one, you're running call to action ads for people to go to your website, sign up for your emails, call you, whatever. I want you to run call to action ads day one where every single dollar you spend, you know that your ad is only getting in front of the, the exact property owners that you want the ad to get in front of. You don't have to run a test, engagement ad, filter it down to the people that are engaging, and then run a call to action ad. You don't have to do all that. Plus, you're still getting a lot of random people when you do that. This is exact property owners. All right. So, you guys know that Red X is the best place to get data. Let me get in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you 
right here. Cool. All right. So with Red X, let's let's go through the leads, right? And you guys can save the hundred and fifty dollars on Red X uh, by going to RedXDiscount.com. I'll put a link in the description on YouTube. But redxdiscount.com will save you that $150 setup fee, and you can get go right to the bone of the products. So let's talk about this before I demonstrate looking up some property owners and then doing a tutorial on how to create an ad. It's really easy. You don't have to go on Facebook man, Ads Manager. You can build it right on the RedX platform, and you don't have to learn how to do Red, uh, Facebook Ad Manager. You just build it right there, and it's done. Super easy. And it comes from your account. It's your name. All right, so let's talk about this. You got expired leads and you got expired plus. What's the difference? The difference is with plus, you're getting emails. You're getting you're getting emails. Okay. You're gonna need the emails. Sorry about that, guys. You're gonna need the emails to find them on Facebook. And when you get expires, go back 10 years worth, as far back as your MLS will go. So you're going to call Red X. You're going to say, hey, I got expired plus. How do I get 10 years worth? They're going to walk you through it because every MLS is different. Don't let them filter out the, you know, the, the ones that resold. You want everybody. Doesn't matter if they sold it. You want them. You want to get expired, uh, withdrawns, and canceled, right? Get all of them. So that that write that down. Expired, withdrawns, and canceled. And don't filter out the ones that resold. Get everybody. That way you've got everybody right there. Geo leads, geo leads and geo leads plus. What's the difference? Geo leads, you get 2,500 contacts per month. Geo leads plus, you get 7,500s and with their emails. You don't get the emails of geo leads. So you have to get geo leads plus. So if you do what I'm talking about, and let's say you're on a budget, okay, what's mandatory? What I would love to see you get is expireds plus, geo leads plus, the multi-line dialer and ad builder. Those are the four things that I feel like are pretty essential. If you need to whittle it down from there, take out Expireds Plus and just get GeoLeads Plus. Because with GeoLeads Plus, you can get 7,500 people per month. You pick the exact property owners. So month one, you got 75. Month two, you got 15,000. Month four, you got 30,000. Uh, month six, you got 45,000 month eight, you got 60,000. You keep building this database. What you have to do is make sure you use all those credits by the end of the month, every month, regardless if you call them or not build that database of geo leads in your database in, in your red X database. So you can run ads. So you can run ads to them. Oh, let's see here. All right. So the object here is to collect this data for less than a penny and then run social media ads to these leads. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then you're also calling them. So when you call them, they already saw your ads, already know who you are. Every dollar is efficiently spent to stay in front of these people, the ones that you want to do business with. You picked them. You picked the exact properties. Hello. Now, they also have for sale by owner leads, for sale by owner plus. Not a fan of that. I can just drive around and find for sale by owners. Not a fan. For rent by owners, I'm a big fan of. For rent by owners plus, I'm a big fan of for rent by owners. These are people that are renting by owner. They just put their house for rent on the market by owner, not through a management company. You call them. These are investors. This is an inc I know a lot of agents that are crushing it with for rent by owners. For the purposes we're talking about today, not. 100% necessary. Pre-foreclosures, there aren't any. <laughs> there are hardly any pre-foreclosures right now. Maybe that'll come back at some point. So you've got your power line dialer and your multi-line dialer. I'm going to get the multi-line dialer. I want to call three at a time. I want to blow through these numbers. I want to get some stuff done. Okay, then we have Ad Builder. Ad Builder, guys, is $50. $50. And I'm going to show you what it does. Okay, then Brand Builders, where they actually edit your videos for you. They'll edit one or two videos a week for you. So you'll film a raw video and they'll edit it and they'll post it for you as well. So that's a cool feature. 
maybe you do your own videos, whatever. Um, you know, so that may or may not be necessary for you. Ad builder, necessary, 50 bucks. So again, the products that I, I would love for you to see you get is Expireds Plus, Geoleads Plus, uh, the multi-line dialer, and ad builder. Okay. All right. So let's hop over here. This is where you would actually sign up and get the $150 discount at redxdiscount.com. Let me log in. I see a comment. I'm in Cali. The agents out here say it's bad data. The thing is, guys, is that every single, all of them are going to have a 10% pickup rate. It's not bad data. It's great data. Let's see. So this is a very user-friendly platform. And so right here at the top, you see we've got Ad Builder right here. You got Brand Builder right here. You got your GeoLeads right here. So what I want to demonstrate today is, is I want to go in and get some GeoLeads. So I want to demonstrate that. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go to Ad Builder. I'm going to create an ad. Okay, so that's what we're going to cover today. So when I'm right here in uh, in GeoLeads, I can really search anything. I can I can search by boundary right here. I can create a boundary, you know, whatever uh, area I want. Um, I can search a uh, a single house and then pull up everything uh, in that subdivision. Uh, right here, I can go um, the last searches, all that good stuff. So I think what I'll do just for demonstration's sake, let's see, let's just zoom in to a, a, a little subdivision. Here's one right here, this little subdivision. I'll just use the boundary search. All right, so I'm just going to bring this right there and bring this right here. Just kind of create the little boundary right there. Okay, so I've got the subdivision I want right there. I'm going to go like nearest 100. Okay, 27 properties found. It's got all the dots right there. Super easy. Create leads. Yeah, I'll call it that. That's, I could, you know, call it something else. I'll just call it what it's telling me, which is one of the addresses in the subdivision. I hit create and boom. It's still finalizing the data. See how easy that was? It was like, bam. Boom, boom, bam. And I have the data. Now I can go out there and pick up, um, you know, 7,500 of these, uh, 7,500 of these a month. Go down here. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, let's see. Bam. Quick little refresh. Oh, okay. Yep, and there we go. It's right here. Here is the first one. Here is the email addresses for both of them. Phone numbers, and that's a cell phone number. That's a cell phone number too. It tells me bedrooms. It tells me year built. And then right here, it's got listing information if it was ever listed. Okay, this hasn't ever been listed. Tax information. Market ins uh, insights of the neighborhood, market insights, all that stuff. It's that easy, guys, to find the property owners. And then if I wanted to dial these property owners, I could just check that box. There's the 27 collected, and I just hit dial right there, start a new session. On here, I'm going to check, uncheck the ones and check all the, the stuff. And then I'm off to the races calling these people.
super simple. You should be doing this every day. Costs nearly nothing. And you talk to the exact people you do business with without having to make videos and hope people call or have open houses and do all that work and hope people come in or, you know, all the stuff that you guys are doing. You could just be calling the people. This is literally how I hacked the system and sold so many properties so quickly, really. I mean, to get to 100 deals a year within six years, you know, I got back in 2008. And by 2014, I was selling 100 properties. It's pretty fast. And I was hand dialing, by the way, guys. I was hand dialing. Hello, hand dialing. You guys can auto dial and get data like that. I didn't have the luxury of that. I had to do everything hand dial and look up addresses and phone numbers one at a time. Okay. Can you imagine living in that world? Probably not. All right. So let's click on Ad Builder. And I want to show you my the ad that I built here. Um, this is an ad that I did as a test. Uh, it's still running. I started it. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. I started running it on the 9th. So let's see what day it is. It's the 24th. So uh, a little over two weeks. Um, it's costing me uh, sixteen fifty per thousand views, and that cost is probably increasing a little because um, the size of the audience, right? So you need to switch out the ads. So here's here's a quick little tip on this: switch your ads out every two weeks. I would say run two ads at a time, and switch them out maybe every two to three weeks, and run run it for like. $2 a day per ad, $2 a day, something like that. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. But this ad um, has been running for two weeks. It's hit 1,700 people with 5,000 impressions. So it's hit these people maybe two to three times. And I've gotten 73 clicks on my website for $1.30 per click. Now, I didn't optimize this. This could be really optimized, guys. This I just literally, look at the picture I used. The picture is just horrible, okay? It's just a picture of a condo. It doesn't say anything. Um, I just ran this as a test, all right? Um, and, uh, yeah, just to go to my website, you know, just as a test to see how this all this this stuff works, which is amazing. Okay, so this could be optimized incredibly. Also, I ran the um, traffic objective, which will literally show that ad to people over and over again, versus if you choose the reach objective, it'll show it to more people, less frequency. So we could talk about that. So let's go here to create an ad. So it's real easy. If you see here at the top right, there's this button, create ad. Okay, let's create an ad. Right here, we can name it whatever we want to name it. This is just for our purposes uh, on the back end. This doesn't show anywhere. So um, I'll just leave it as what they have it here. New ad, 224. And then right here, first question they ask you. Now, now you know, I, I did a lot of ads on Facebook Ad Manager myself. So I appreciate what this is. It makes it very simple to create an ad. Um, I can I can make the the choice here. Do I want traffic to my to a website or a landing page, or do I want to reach awareness? Which means it's going to show this ad to more people less frequency. If we do traffic, it's going to show it to less people more frequently. If we do reach and awareness, it's going to show it to more people less frequency. Okay, if that makes sense, it'll spread the ad across more people, but they won't see it as many times versus traffic. So just for purposes sake, we'll choose traffic. And then it goes to, okay, who do you want to run the ads to? And right here, I just put all leads in a folder. Um, you know, as you, you know, you can build this out to where you have past clients. You can add
that this is crazy. So we've picked who we're going to send the ad to. Okay. Now this is where we create the ad. Okay. So right here, we're going to upload a picture or a video for the ad. Um, and then right here, we're going to write the ad message, the copy that's in the ad. Right here is the website link. Right, right here is going to be the link headline. And then we're going to pick our call to action. So let's choose a picture. Let's go to, let's do this one. Okay, so once you pick the picture, then it's going to ask you how you want it formatted. I mean, this is cool. I can drag this. I can I Okay. Uh let's just go right there. I can do different formats here. I can do the original size of the picture. I can do 1 by 1. I can do 4 by 5. That's going to be for feeds. This is going to be for stories and reels. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys can't see this. Hold on one second. Let me get let me get right here so you guys can see this part of it because this part's really cool. What happens is uh, there's a pop up right here. So so once you pick the picture or the video, um, yeah. So once you pick the picture or the video, then right here you can choose the format. So right here I have four by five. Right here I can change that. This is how it's going to look in the feed. Or it can go original. Okay. I can even crop it down if I want to. So I can really do, I can really kind of do what I want to do on the back end with this. This second part is stories and reels. Right. I can move this around. I can crop this how I want. Um, this is how it's going to come through on stories and reels. So that's, that's really cool how I can come in here and edit these pictures out and crop them how I want in the different feeds. Okay. So I'm going to save that, which is going to go back there and let me get back to the other screen right here. So we'll just give that a second because I want to see right here how it's going to look. See, here's my ad preview. So this is how it's going to look. That's how I wanted the, the picture formatted. So let me shrink this down just a tad, if you guys can see that. Okay, so right here, I can see, I can pick the different, uh, let's see, that doesn't work because it's not formatted correctly for reels. This will take a second. See, not wide enough for Instagram stories, Instagram feed. So this is just something you'll have to play with as far as you're formatting your uh, your pictures and stuff like that to make sure you're, you're, if you want it to be on all these things, Instagram stories, Facebook stories, stuff like that. Um. But we can see what it's going to look like on the Instagram feed, on the Facebook feed. Okay. Now, let's write the ad message. Looking to buy or sell. Real estate in Gulf Shores. Be happy to put my 21 years of local experience to work for you. Websites. I'm going to put my website, you can put whatever. And then right here, you're going to put your. Um, the link headline okay so it's like uh you could do anything like check out my listing or you know something sellers should know um you know new restaurants in the area whatever this is going to be the big words that kind of show up there 
Um, I'm going to go back to the Facebook feed. And the link headline for this is going to be like, I'm just going to say check out our listings. Okay. So um, let that update. So it shows you everything on the preview here right there and then i can actually create create a button here do i want it to say contact us learn more sign up so i can leave none if i want to and i can just click on the picture um or i'll say contact us it gives you the option of these different buttons okay so boom so this right here i don't know if you guys can see that i'm going to zoom in a tad this is what the ad is going to look like on facebook right here just created this real quick. Let's see what it looks like in the Instagram feed. Okay, it's going to say contact us right there, right on the picture. And it's going to have our my commentary there. All right. Cool. So once I have that exactly like I want it, I go to next. Now it's going to ask me duration and budget. So do I want to set the start date or do I want to start it immediately? Okay, so we'll just start immediately. Okay, so start dates now immediately. When's the end date? Do they want it? Do, do I want to run this for two, three weeks, or do I just want it to run indefinitely until I turn it off? Okay, um, I'll just run this. Cancel. I'll just run it till I turn it off. And then, how much do I want to spend on this ad? The minimum is two dollars a day. So I'm just going to put two dollars per day. It's real simple, elementary. Right here is very important, guys. Does your ad include any of the following? Housing, okay, social issues, credit, employment, none of the above. You've got to click housing. We are real estate agents. So you have to click the housing button. Okay, glad you guys can hear me. <laughs> All right, next. And so this basically gives you a summary of everything we just went through. What the ad's name is, what the objective is, traffic. The audience is within my red X that that's going to get it's going to see this ad. Here are the different uh, ads. This is the ad that I created. I'll run this for two dollars a day starting today and definitely until I say to stop. And the disclosure is housing. All right, so I'm going to submit. And then that will take just a second to load. And then we've submitted your ad. Bam! Your, your ad will start running within, you know, 24 hours or so. Uh, when I ran this one, it actually started running within about 30 minutes. Okay, so here, and you'll see all your ads right here. And you can always go to Ad Builder and look at the ads, what's going on. You can go in and, you know, stop the ads if you have it running indefinitely and all that good stuff. Okay. So again, if you go to redxdiscount.com, that's going to save you the $150 setup fee. Okay. And then you're going to want to get you're going to want to get minimum GeoLeads Plus. And, you know, okay, let's say you're on a budget. Okay, you can't get everything. You can't get Expireds Plus. If you can get Expireds Plus, GeoLeads Plus, Multi-Line Dollar, and Ad Builder, that is like, for me, the primo. I can do everything I need to do. I can have enough leads to last me forever doing that. And I can hit them all on social media right here. Uh, the cheapest, by the cheapest amount than any other activity I can think of. Now, if I'm on a budget, I'm just going to get GeoLeads Plus so I can still hit them on social. I'm going to get GeoLeads Plus. Maybe I get the power dialer or the preview line dialer, okay, because it's cheaper than the multi-line dialer. But then I definitely want to get Ad Builder. It's only 50 bucks for Ad Builder. You get to create that ad and run that ad really easily. Um, so if you're on an even tighter budget than that, okay, don't worry about ads. Just get Geo Leads. That's fifty nine dollars. You get, I believe, it's twenty five hundred property owners per month. 
Just get Geo Leads for fifty nine dollars and hand dial them. Whatever your whatever your budget is, you can afford fifty dollars a month to get twenty five hundred property owners to call. Okay, so that's kind of the lowest level of affordability. If you're just totally broke, you don't have any money to put into your business. Start out with Geo Leads for fifty nine dollars a month and hand dial them. When you can upgrade to the dialer, maybe get the preview line dialer and then upgrade so on and so forth. But if you want to run ads, you need the emails. So you have to have Geo Leads Plus to get the emails. Plus it goes from 2,500 to 7,500 people and you just build that database. I mean, within a year, you've got what? 80, 000, more than 80,000 people that you can call and run ads to. Plus, you have 10 years worth of expireds here with expireds plus with their emails running ads to. All right. So, yeah, sorry about the uh, sorry about the little hiccup there. I'll put the put the link here for you. Sorry about the hiccup with the uh, with the audio. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, I hope you guys, um, you know, understand what I'm trying to say here. I'm going to scroll through the comments for questions. So if you have any any questions, just throw them in the comments. Let's see. Is it really 2,500 additional each month? Yes, that's for, that's for just regular geo leads. Um, but get Geo Leads Plus. It gives you 7,500 with emails. It doesn't give you emails with Geo Leads. Geo Leads and Ad Builder is that good? Yeah, but get Geo Leads Plus because if you don't get the plus, then you're not really. It's not really going to find them on Facebook without the emails. Will the Red X have to be in our Red X folder or in order for them to see this ad? Yes, because it's taken the database from uh, Red X and it's finding them on Facebook with the data that's in Red X. So their email's got to be there in Red X so they can find them on Facebook. Let's see. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of questions on the other live. I'm going to take both lives and just edit them together so it's one video for you guys. Um. And that way, uh, that way it'll just be one video. I'll send that out. I'll email it out. Let's see. How many different areas can you target if you're using a team? I don't know what that means, James, as far as like how many different, but you can target it anywhere in the country. You can use Red X and target anything in the country. You're not buying look, uh, like specific geographical. You're buying any data for 7,500 people each month in the country. What do I say to the prospects that give you permission to stay in touch via text rather than email? Put them in your text database. You should be doing a text every week as well. Is it worth your time to call Geo Leads or just run email campaigns? Everything. Call, text, email, social media. Hit them with everything. You should be on the phone every day between 9 and 12. Isn't there a limit to how many people live in your area? Yeah. Yeah, there is population. It's like my population here is 30,000, but then we have another like, I don't know how many, probably an, another 50,000 condos on the beach. But yeah, it, it's, it is limited to the population of your market. Sure. You know, use this to get all the data from every, for everybody in your market. Carrie, Red X, Geo Leads is 50 bucks a month. Go to redxdiscount.com. And if you can get Geo Leads Plus, Expires Plus, Multi-Line Dyer, Ad Builder. That'd be the best. But if you're on a budget, just get regular Geo Leads for 60 bucks and hand dial. That's what I would do if I was just broke and just threw 60 bucks out there to get 2,500 property owners of my choice. The clicks will come to you based on what the landing page or whatever you put. You get to choose where they go. No, they don't go in the Red X files. It, it's you create an ad and you put whatever you want there. 
yes, you'll be able to download the database and upload it to whatever database you want. Dawn, it won't go back and put emails in the GeoLeads database. It's only the GeoLeads Plus stuff that you um, that you download from there on will it give you the emails. I'm not taking the GeoLeads Plus emails and just putting them into my database. I'm using those emails to hit them on Facebook with Facebook ads through Ad Builder. And then once I correspond with them, then I'll add them to my database. What platform are you using to mass text? I use Constant Contact. So that's where I send my weekly email and text. You can funnel them to your CRM. Do I think if I called all 7,500 leads a month, would you get a contract? Depends on your communication skills. What do I do with expireds? I, I I don't I just send them the same the same ads. I mean, yeah, just the same ads. I don't do like, oh, did your house expire lately? Because remember, I'm going back years worth of expires. Constant contacts prices are based on your database, how big it is. You can go to startyourweeklyemail.com and get started. Also, I can put in the comments here, I can put my last 14 or so emails. And you can just use my template. There's a link there you can get uh, constant contacts. Cool. Why not use KB Core only? I, I don't know. It's your choice. You can use anything you want. All right. So again, this was just to demonstrate how to find property owners, hit them on social, call them, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to do a full, uh, I'm going to do a full, of course, I'll splice these two lives together for one video. So I'll get that out um, hopefully today. But also I'm going to do a full uh, webinar on how I create so much content, what my content creation process is. That'll be mid-March. So make sure you guys are on my text platform. Just text me at 251-312-8844. Put there in the chat as well. Um, make sure you're there so you get alerted with all my live events, trainings, motivational texts, and stuff like that. Do the leads that respond or opt-in end up in your Facebook ads manager for retargeting or yes, they do. You can, any of them that um, engage with your content, you can, if you want to go to Facebook ads manager from there and create an audience based on people that engaged with that ad, you can do that, but you have to do that from ads manager. You can't do that within Red X. Do I keep ad builder leads in Red X then convert hot and it depends on where you send the ad, send the leads from the ad builder. Or is it going to go to your landing page, your website, your listings? Where are you sending them? You know, it just kind of depends. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. Thank you, guys. I hope this helped. Um, I think this is the greatest thing that ever happened, you know, to real estate agents. It's just so cheap, and you can just, boom, get in front of anybody you want to. Call them, text them, email them, hit them on social. Why not? Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm still answering all my Instagram messages. And I'll see you guys in Chicago in two weeks. I'll be there. I'll be in Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, Florida, Lexington, Kentucky, um, Denver, Sacramento, Orlando. I'll be everywhere. So just go to zero to diamond.com backslash events to keep up oh, with so what my road schedule is. So I'd love to see you guys. All right, I'm out. Look. I-35 with the top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like